Why, hello there, dragonflies. Welcome to another week of spelling. This is week 29, words that are number related. So they won't all have the same pattern in them, although many of them will overlap, but they'll all have something to do with a number. Uh, word number one, duet. Uh, so things with the do in there often means there are two of them. So in a duet, there are two people playing. Number two, bicycle. The by part also means two. So two cycles, a bicycle has two wheels. Notice how the Y makes the C say S instead of K. Number three, triple. We've seen the tri before in triangle. triple jump has three different items to it. Number four, duplicate. Oh, it's got the same do as duet. It means there's going to be two of them. So you are going to duplicate these spelling words. You're going to make another copy of them somewhere else. Number five, binary. is a computer language that only has two options. It's either zeros or ones, and the entire language is made up of just zeros and ones. Number six, octave. The oct part means eight. So an octave in music is two notes that are eight notes apart. Number seven, trilogy. Oh, there's that try sneaking in there. It's gonna have three parts. A trilogy is a story that has three parts. Maybe you could write a trilogy. Number eight, unicycle. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, now we've got the uni, just like unicorn. Um, the cycle like bicycle but just a unicorn there's only one wheel this time a unicycle quartet if you've got qua of something like on a quad it's got four wheels a quartet is a musical group that has four people remember Q's buddy in English, always, 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 U comes after Q. Number 10, duplex. Duplex is a house that has do or two parts to it. Number 11, quadruple. I would like to quadruple my money, which means it's going to be four times as much as what it is right now. Okay, I wouldn't mind if I could make it more than that, but I'd settle for quadruple. That would be all right. Number 12, binocular. Oh, got that two part. And the ocular means having to do with the eye, so binoculars you're using both of your eyes to look at something. Number 13, uniform. Uni, there's just one of them. Form, that means shape. So a uniform is uh, like the outfit that you're gonna wear while you're working so that everybody looks the same and it's easy to tell who works at that place, right? I work at Silver Creek. Number 14, Trinity. Mean three. Trinity is a group of three items. Number 15, quadrant. Ooh, it's got that quad hiding in there. It's going to be four. When you're graphing, once you get up to high school, you're going to be making graphs where zero is in the middle. And then 
will have positive and negative numbers. We have not got there yet, uh, but you'll notice there's four spots for quadrants. Number 16, magnitude. The magnitude of something is how big it is. Number 17, quantity. Remember, do and mu. Quantity is another way of saying how much stuff do you have. Sorry, that came out a little wrong. Number 18, dozen. You might wish that there were only a dozen spelling words, but <laughs> too bad. Um, if you remember your French, la France, um, and you're counting, you've got un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, or eleven, and douze for twelve, douze, does, ah, dozen, there's going to be twelve of them. Number 19, soloist. If you're solo, you're all on your own, so the soloist is going to sing or play all by themselves. And number 20, century. Oh, you might have heard of a cent before. There's a hundred cents in every dollar because the word cent means a hundred. Notice it's spelt with a C because the E makes the C say S. All right, so cent. Yuri is a hundred here. And our bonus word for this week, accumulation. Okay, when we're thinking about syllables, we're going to break it in here. Accumulation. Okay, the accumulation of something is gathering a number of things all together. So, Here's your accumulation of spelling words for this week. Good luck.